The lion is probably one of the most popular and iconic animals on our planet. They are big and powerful and some might even say, and I totally agree, majestic. Unlike all other wild living cat species, the lion lives together in groups that are called prides. These prides can consist of just a few members or as many as over 30 individuals. However, living together in social groups, forming bonds with each other and generally being a social and emotional being, the lion, just like a lot of other social species, has developed a unique way of communicating, including sounds, sights, smells and touch. So let's take a closer look at how these beautiful creatures interact with each other. Lions use a number of different sounds to communicate with each other and also as an indication for other predators and species in their territory. Those vocalizations include purrs, snarls, meows, hissing and the most iconic one, the lion roar, which can reach decibel levels of over 110. <coughs> The lion roar is used to vocalize and demonstrate different things, as a warning and form of protection from intruding and competing male lions, to attract mating partners, to locate distant pride members and to discourage or scare away other predators. Sometimes the whole lion pride roars in a chorus to show a collective strength and demonstrate even better ownership over their territory. Studies have also shown that the roars are often linked to a certain time period and environmental circumstances. A peak of lion vocalizations happens near dawn and in general more often during nighttime. They are also more likely to roar when the acoustic conditions are favorable and the sound will travel far, which is quite fascinating in my opinion. For example, lions are more likely to roar when wind speeds are low, temperatures are cooler and the humidity is higher, so the sound will travel further. They are also more likely to roar near rivers and water points. When it comes to acoustic communication, hearing is obviously also important and the lion has very good hearing. The ears are movable and can be turned into the needed direction. Lions are then able to hear potential prey that is as far as one mile away or can locate distant pride members. When it comes to defining and establishing the territory, chemical communication is just as important as the roaring. Lions use different ways of scent marking, including obviously defecation and proclaiming their presence by urinating on trees and bushes, or simply on the ground, leaving behind a pungent scent. They also will rub against bushes or trees to leave different kind of scents. Also very important for chemical communication is the vomeronasal organ, also known as the Jacobsen's organ, named after Danish anatomist Ludwig Levin Jacobsen, who discovered it back in 1811. This organ is a chemosensory tubular organ located between the hard palate of the mouth and the soft tissue of the nasal septum. The organ is used to identify smells and non-volatile chemicals that are known as pheromones, which will give the lion information on other pride members, for example reproductive status, but also also information on prey or different predators. When lions encounter a pheromone, they will curl their upper lip and expose their teeth to transfer the pheromones directly to the Jacobson's organ. This behavior is called the Flamen response. It actually looks quite funny and because the animal will make a grimace, it seems like it is disgusted by something. Cat owners probably have seen it from their own cat and had a good laugh about it. However, no matter how weird it looks, for communication it is quite important. The sense of touch is also very important for the lion, especially when it comes to socializing and interacting with loved ones and members of the pride. They will use different forms of touch to engage in different peaceful and bonding behaviors. One of the most important gestures would be head rubbing between two lions as a form of greeting or to strengthen and reassure their bond. Mutual grooming with their tongues, especially if the face and mane is bloody after a successful hunt and feast, is also a way which lions use to socialize with one another. A lion tongue is covered in papillae, small backward curved spines, which assist with the grooming but are also used to scrape meat from bones. And to finish things out, let's briefly talk about lion's eyes. Lions have great vision in general, but also excellent night vision, with eyes that are six times more sensitive to light than human eyes. The fairly big and round pupils and also the white stripes beneath the eyes allow more light into the eye and furthermore help with the good vision, which lion uses to spot and track prey or to be on the lookout for potential dangers. Now thank you all so much for watching, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and maybe even subscribe for more content like this. There will usually be one video every weekend. 
But most importantly, take care of yourselves and have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Thank you.